Beep, 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 beep. Hello? Is this James from Elite Hunters? What's up, man? It's Scott from Reindeer Studios. How are you? I heard you're a Yankees fan. I got a card you can't live without, buddy. It's a 95 Collector's Choice Silver Signature Don Mattingly. Yeah, I, I do like my mustaches, but I can let this one go for 1500 bucks. I know. Someday somebody's going to say yes. Okay, okay. Um, this is Donnie Baseball we're talking about. So how about 150 bucks? Hard no. Okay. Uh, $150 and I'll do a charcoal drawing of Mattingly for you. What now? All right. You drive a hard bargain, sir. But we have a deal. Sweet. Okay. Bye. Hey, superstars. Welcome to the fifth episode of The Quest for My Holy Grail card. Hard to believe this is the fifth episode already. I'm trying to sell off worthless cards for exorbitant amounts of money so that I can eventually buy my Grail card, a T206 Cy Young portrait. But to make it work, I'm including some original art. Not only am I drawing Donnie Baseball, I'm also drawing Derek Jeter and Mickey Mantle for James from Elite Hunters, who's got a fantastic collection, so you should go check it out. This was actually James's idea, and I'm not gonna lie, this was kind of a tough one, but I'm not one to back away from a challenge. I found when I push the limits of what I'm comfortable with, I can end up with some really neat results. I have drawn Mickey Mantle a couple times before, and even though I'm not a huge Mantle fan, for some reason I always enjoy drawing him. Jeter and Donnie, however, they were a little more difficult. I can't really explain it though. And I am not complaining at all. James was super excited to help me out and I am super excited to do this for him. And I know what you're gonna say. Why didn't you add one more player and make it like a whole Mount Rushmore deal? And I'd be like, no way, Jose, that's dumb. Or I'd probably be more polite about it saying that the paper's too small to fit four heads and I don't think I could really pull it off with the charcoal. But James didn't ask for that and I appreciate it because yeah, that would have been a headache. And I also know what else you're going to say. Scott, say it isn't so. You don't like the New York American League team. That's considered a swear word in some circles. And I don't, but I do get fandom in it, and I appreciate it. I know if my Indians had 27 world championships instead of <clears throat> two, um, I wouldn't be apologetic at all. Hey, Yankees, the World Series store called. They said, why don't you share some of those World Series, World Series, World Series, World Series with the rest of us. <laughs> hey, yo, speaking of Yankees fans, what's the difference between a Yankees fan and a dentist? One roots for the Yanks, the other Yanks for the roots. <laughs> bada boom, bada bing, hey, I kind of like that one. <laughs> I want to take a second to thank everyone who's reached out to help me with this project. Uh, definitely a lot more than I ever expected. And because of that, I'm kind of behind, but I don't want to be like PSA behind. So I'm not taking any more requests right now until I get some more of these taken care of. Uh, thanks to everybody who does have a request in for being patient with me. I'm going as fast as I can, but my plate is very full and I do want to do a great job for everybody. Uh, we will get there, I promise. All right, there are the men of the hour or the men of the five minutes because they make really short videos. Uh, I think they came out pretty cool and James was thrilled, which makes me thrilled. Thank you so much, James. It was an absolute honor. Everybody go check out Elite Hunters. We're getting a little closer every week to my grail card, but the journey is what makes it really special. Thanks everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, 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 and we will catch you next time.